Hi guys, how are you? Wes and Des here. Uh, just want to talk a little bit about your goals and how to get there using optimal movements. Because it can get a little confusing out there. Um, the crossfitter doing the 80 kipping pull-ups, you know, he's probably on those games on TV. Or the power lifter lifting 500 pounds with no shoes on is probably in the Olympics. But if you're like me and Des and you just want to look good at that pool party, Congratulations, you are a bodybuilder, okay? And when you're a bodybuilder, you are looking to make every lift as difficult as possible. You are eliminating inertia and momentum, which brings us to the ab coaster, where your abs will respond just like any other muscle to weight or load, um, but it also responds to time under tension um, and range of motion. Uh, I see a lot of you guys only using weight. Um, you rack on about 60 pounds on here and people start rocking and rolling here. Um, while this is fun, it doesn't do much for your abdominals. Um, I'm really looking as a trainer to get rid of the weight. Um, I want range of motion and time under tension first before we add any load. So it should look more like this. Pause at the top, maybe a pulse and then down slow. You don't want any of that fast stuff. Des, why don't you hop on and, and show us how, to, how it's done. Your, your abs should curl your spine and straighten your spine. It shouldn't look like this, it should look more like this. Crunch it up to a little ball and flex. Hold it. Control your negative. If you're confused about when that negative is, it's whenever gravity can take it, all right? Try to get all the way up there. If you can't get all the way up, that's okay. This is a sport where seconds mean things. Inches mean things. So if you can't get all the way up, that's okay. Maybe try another exercise. And if you suck at it, yeah. don't worry, because that's the first step of being kind of good at something. All right? Great job, Des. Kind of. <laughs>